Good day. In this video, we are looking at question 1B of the 2021 NCA Level 1 Chance and Data Paper. In this question, this, there are three parts to question 1B. The first part is an achieve, the second question is an excellence, and the third question is the merit. So without further ado, let's read the question. A random sample of some of the dogs breed with Auckland City Council in 2019 has been selected. There are a total of 180 dogs in this random sample. The bar graph shows the number of dogs registered in each of these breeds. If the dog is randomly selected from the sample, what is the probability that it is not a Chinhuahua? Okay, so in this case, there are a total of 180 dogs in total. Chinhuahua is 12. So the probability not a Chinhuahua is 180 minus 12 over 180. So 180 over 12 minus 12 is going to be 168 over 180. And the answer is going to be 0 0.9333 recurring. That will give you an achieve in this paper. Very straightforward. Okay, great. Next question. Okay, I've written down the answer so that I do not have to write a lot in this video because uh, it's going to take some time if I'm going to write them down each and everything. Okay, so Nanya enjoyed daily walks along the beach. One day, Nanya saw 20 dogs on a walk. Six were American pit bulls. Okay, she thought it was very unusual to see so many American pit bulls. She believed there might be an error in the Auckland City Council data collection shown above. So to find the expected value of pit bull, you get to take pit bull, you look at pit bull, six out of 120, 180, six out of 180, multiplied by 20 dogs, because there are 20 dogs, and you she expected to see 0 0.666 recurring number of pit bulls in her walk. However, seeing six pit bulls is unusual, as she would only expect to see 0 0.666 recurring, instead she saw six pit bulls. So there are possible explanations why she saw six pit bulls instead of 0 0.6666, okay? The first is that the location of the beach is not known, okay? So if you do not know the location, so it may not be in Auckland, she may not be in Auckland, and hence we cannot compare them to the Auckland City Council data, okay? Second point, the data collected is in 2019. So we do not know when did Norm, uh, Narnia did her walk, and the data may have changed since 2019. So that is point number two. Point number three, she cannot make the claim based on just one walk and on one particular day. So on another day, the result will be different. So they may have seen different dogs at different time of the year. Okay. So and the last point, she may have mistaken some dog as a pit bull and may not know how a pit bull looks like. So and hence, she might not have actually seen six pit bulls. She may have seen maybe one or two. She may have mistaken the pit bull for some other dog. So that is how you answer this question. You need three points. I've given you four. If you can get three out of the four, you will get an excellent. Okay, great. Now the last part. A magazine claim. Okay, I'm going to bring it out, okay? A magazine claims that people are twice to likely own a Jack Russell compared to a Bicon Fries in New Zealand. So we need to find the probability of a Jack Russell. Jack Russell is here. So 21 out of 180, the chances is 0 0.1167. The probability of a Bicon fight over here, 12 out of 180, the chances is 0 0.0667. If you take that probability divided by that probability, the answer is around 1.75. So 1.75 is quite close to 2, but it is not entirely true. Okay? So, can the magazine make this claim? As the data was collected only in, this data I collected in Auckland, we cannot claim it against the whole of New Zealand because this claim may be different in different parts of New Zealand. So, that is how you answer question 1B. There's achieve, there's merit, there's excellence. So, go through this question again and you should be able to analyze this data without fail. Have a good day everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers everyone.